Flash tutorials ever! Hey everybody, welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about custom classes. Custom classes give you the ability to write code and reuse it over and over and over. Also, it gives you the ability to use other people's code to make your website application or game that much better. And I'm going to show you how to do that also installing a custom class from Synocular. The first thing we want to do is go over to the edit menu, go inside of preferences. Inside of preferences we want to navigate to the action script category. So that's the second item. And down below we want to go to the language which is action script 3. So the source path that we want is a folder, a normal folder on your desktop or anywhere else and just make sure you name it something that makes sense. I name mine action script 3 classes. So this is how you add a path. You can either press the plus button or you can browse to the directory to add the path and that's the way I did it. So I remember that my action script class was on my desktop so I clicked here and I said okay and now my path is added. Once you're done with that, just click OK and we're finished. And we can go down to the OK and the preferences. Now let's go inside of the directory. On my desktop, there was the AS3 classes folder. And inside the classes folder, I've created a com folder. Some people, they said, this is a good idea and I'm just following their good idea, which is to make a com folder. And inside of the com folder, you give the name of that person for example mochi media so that way we never worry about mixing up anybody's names so there's a mochi.com and that way there will never be a mix up with another mochi so uh, that's how they set up the directory so your initial file com and the name of wherever you got the code from so with this all in mind let's get a uh, action script 3 file and put it in the directory and use it. So head over to synocular.com. This is a great place to find a lot of ActionScript 3 classes. Head over to the Flash menu over here and go to ActionScript. And in ActionScript you will look at this ActionScript library and in it you want to go to ActionScript 3. And you can see that they set up Synocular, who I don't know if that's the person's name. If they they set it up in the same way, you have the the action script three, your root folder, com, the person's name or name of the company, which is Synocular, and then they have subdirectories into that main. So what happens is you have this whole naming process, and this is how it's packaged. Copy the name Synocular, and in Synocular we will put the utils in all the action script folders that go with it. But I want to do something simple and something useful to all of us. So I want to bring back the usability of get URL. Get URL was the easy way to make hyperlinks inside of Flash in layman's terms. But we're going to get it from Synocular. So just click on ActionScript 3 and you get a drop down menu and you want to just click on get URL.as. Now if we look over here we see the contents of the file it is a regular class and if you have any experience with the cl with classes then you see wow okay great it's it's in a package we have the the items that they import and we have our public function down here if you don't get any of this code it's okay what's important is that you know how to use it let's look at how we can use this usually they have documentation telling you about whatever you're downloading so let's look at this the public function get URL. You put in a string and this string is the URL and you also can put in the target. So what this does is make a URL request in the navigate to function and then you will navigate to some part of the interwebs. So let's download the source file and the way we do that is just up above download source file. And when we download the source file it just comes out as a plain text file. So what we can do is we'll head over and and save it. So file, I'm going to do save page as. And on my desktop, I'm going to navigate to the root folder, Action Script 3 classes. And I'm not going to put it into the com. I'm going to put it at the base because that's where they located it. Okay, so get URL.as. I'm just going to save it there. 
it's going to ask me if I want to override it, which I already have. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that. And let's look inside of the directory. So as soon as I open it up, we have the get URL.as. Now let's use it inside of our mini website that we're going to build real quick. So inside of Flash, we're going to open up a new ActionScript 3 file. And we're just going to make a really simple button. Right, make a rectangle. Put text. Just name it link. And what we're going to do is use that get URL function that we just downloaded. So I'm just going to highlight this. Press F8 to convert it to a symbol. I'm just going to leave it symbol 1. With it still selected, I'm going to the properties and giving it a name of BTN. Now I'm going to open up my actions window and we'll code this. If you already know how to make a hyperlink in Flash or a link to another website, this is how, almost how you would do it back in ActionScript 2. And this, it brings that ease to ActionScript 3. So let's just create it. Add event mouse event dot click comma on click and so let's create that function e event and now we're going to use that action script class that we just downloaded and that public function that I had to use is get URL and inside of it they let us apply two things which was the string for the URL and also the target the target being maybe parent blank or some other thing so anyway I'm just gonna put in my website the, the greatest website in, a, in in the world or uh, at least to me so now with my website typed in this is all the code that I have to put to apply a a hyperlink to a button so really easy really simple uh, let me try it out so now when I click on the button let's see what my browser does and as you can see my browser is going to it and here we are uh, yeah all right all right be quiet okay and that's that's how you do it that's how you get a custom class so we just downloaded some code from the internet the interwebs and we put it in our directory and now we're we'll be able to use it now one thing is that if you have your directory in a certain place or you're trying to use a specific file then you need to tell flash where to go and the way you do this is you have to type in the directory for instance we would type in um, import now this is if it's deeper inside of your your class directory so it will be import everything is under com then you dot if it was abc.com so it will be abc and then you would go with the name of the action script file so abc abc probably has a um a, a tv class you know they do video and stuff so from abc that tv then you would put a asterisk and the asterisk means that it'll import anything from the tv directory I'll show you what I mean from uh, Synocular. Let's go back to their website. So we have here, as you see, the package, nothing to it. But if we go into it deeper, the com, Synocular, and let's go to the utils and key object. So now when we look at the package, the way it's written is com.synocular.utils. So everything, it, this is packaged in the utils of Synocular. And if we wanted to use this file, this specific file, then we would have to tell it in Flash using the com synocular utils dot star. And don't worry about importing everything. Flash knows which classes you use and do not use. So it won't increase the size of your FLA or rather your, your output file. So thanks for watching another on enter Flash tutorial. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to rate, subscribe comment do all that jazz donate buy me a cup of coffee i'm thirsty thirsty got me here thirsty all right thanks for watching